welcome to my Halloween episode video on Bed Wars thingy. So, fun fact, it's the 29th of October. It's it's not Halloween for me, but when this video drops out, it'll most probably be Halloween for you guys since... Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, I, I, it's, it's, it's yeah. So this is going to be a commentary-based video. I'm not trying to win, I just want to talk about Halloween. So, my skin is Michael Myers, and I'm wearing yellow color dyed armor right now. So, anyways, happy Halloween to you guys. Um, hope you're having fun. I'm gonna ha I'm gonna watch some horror movies on Halloween. Well, yeah, I'm gonna be watching some horror movies on Halloween. So, yeah, it's gonna be it's just gonna be amazing. All right, guys. So, anyways. About the second time I'm recording this. So I recorded it the first time. But then I realized that my voice hadn't recorded at all. And yeah, I was pretty mad about that. So I decided, hey, how about I just record tomorrow? And here we are on October 29th. So yeah. Um, another, uh, so yeah, let's get, let's get into the commentary. So have you guys watched halloween like the michael myers movies you know like the classic original if you guys don't know who michael myers is then you're really missing out like i mean i mean like seriously bro you guys don't know who michael myers is like come on so michael myers is a slasher a slasher meaning a murder horror icon from the 1980s halloween movie um, now you guys, most people out there are like, hey, 2020 Halloween, 2020 um, horror movies are the best horror movies ever. But to me, no, they're garbage. Okay, too much CGI. It they might be, they might be scary, but I like the Halloween movies. It, it was so goofy, so 1980s. Well, not goofy, but just so. It was just so well. The, the fact that it was in 1980s just made me love it even more fact that they didn't have cgi and they had to actually use real life props and stuff for the movie just made me feel even better about it honestly like i loved it so much now the sad part is um i really want the halloween dvd but i don't have it because um apparently they don't sell those halloween dvds anymore so instead i got the reboot version and who even watches the rebooted halloween you no i don't think so if you watch the rebooted halloween movies i mean people say they're good but i, I don't know i just i like the original guys like the original just gives that 1980s feel and uh, they, they didn't use special effects these these people are just like, bruh. Now, another thing is that there are so many slashes out there. Freddy Krueger, Jason Voorhees. But for me, I would say that Michael Myers, bro, this dude is my favorite slasher. Like, literally. He is the most iconic for a guy like me. Not even gonna lie. So, oh god. And the fact that he's iconic to me is the main reason why I'm dressed up as him for my Halloween skin for Minecraft. For the Minecraft. You guys have probably played on the brand new Halloween maps on the Bed Wolves. Yeah, they're pretty good. Screamway. Yeah, this would be my favorite so far. So anyways, other horror movies. I've talked about Halloween a lot this this video. So, there is Nightmare on Elm Street. Freddy Krueger. Bro, this man, this man freaks me out. How disgusting his face looks makes him even more horrifying for a guy like me so yeah now if you guys don't know who freddy krueger is he is also a slasher but um he is a slasher who attacks you in your dreams yeah that yeah i know right so i i, I love this movie okay I, like i i love the freddy freddy krueger's original 1980s movie and again this had a reboot as well so yeah it's just it's kind of like bruh like why are you remaking these masterpieces of 1980s horror movies but yeah people enjoyed the reboot a lot but for me i never watched the reboot because i thought it was going to be as bad as the ho halloween reboot now i really wish i could have gotten like the original 1980s dvds 
but they're hard to get, you know, man, like, you know. So, Friday the 13th, this was the first slasher movie from the 1980s that I actually watched and I loved it, okay? I love, I love Jason Voorhees. The fact, the twist of the first movie, spoiler alert if you haven't watched it, about how Jason's mom is the killer, it was just, it was just amazing. It was just amazing, man, like. That was, like, the most fun aspect of the movie in the first place. So, yeah, I mean, Jason's mom, like, bruh, that was, that was amazing. Now, Friday the 13th 2 is when Jason actually becomes a slasher, but, uh, so, uh, like, it, it was, I just love these movies. The fact that they have seven movies for each slasher series, it's just, it's just amazing, man. Also, we better talk about the Scream movie. Scream Ghostface is one of the most iconic slashes in the universe, man. Like, bro, if you haven't watched Scream, you're 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 a bad person. Go watch it right now. Don't worry, you, you won't be disappointed. Okay, you won't be disappointed. Scream has multiple movies as well, and I I just love I just love it. I I I'm I'm a, I'm I love Scream. Scream movie, Ghostface. I, I I love the Ghostface costume as well. Like, bruh. Like, who doesn't love the Ghostface costume? Like, um, go. I would say that Ghostface is also a very iconic character. If you got it, if you guys know what a Funko Pop is, you would know that the Scream, the Ghostface Funko Pop, is literally the cutest thing in the universe. Okay, I want it, but it, yeah, again, sometimes. Uh, Things are too good to be true. I, like I went to a Funko Pop store, hoping there was there was a freaking Ghost Face Funko Pop, and they didn't have a Ghost Face Funko Pop. Like what? What? It, why? So Scream movies, I love them. Ghost Face, this man is just uh, bruh. He's just like the ultimate slasher. I mean, I still love Michael Myers more, but still, I love. I just love how S Ghost Face looks. So now other slashes now i don't exactly know about any other slashes except for those four because they are my favorite but um i mean not to worry i'll talk about other iconic horror movie characters like michael myers jason Voorhees, freddy krueger and ghostface don't worry don't worry guys don't worry still can't believe this is the second time i'm recording this okay let's talk about some other horror movies and horror movie characters that you guys could watch on halloween so slender man slender man this man i like even for even today i don't know if this man is real or not like when he originally appeared he appeared as a damn like cctv footage middle of the woods you guys don't know who slender man is he is a man six feet tall no face white skin has tentacles and steals children in the middle of the woods okay this man he is just like he's just like like he's so creepy he is like so creepy the fact that even this character was from the olden days just gave me an even more cool feel about this cat guy the fact that he appeared in like a cctv footage kind of thing just makes it, it just makes it even scary man like like seriously if you don't know about the myth of slender man then you're 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 bad just just go to youtube right now and search slender man videos now they finally made a slender man movie and it was on netflix i saw it but you see uh it was bad like i mean people hated this movie so much they hated it so so much and i can understand why i mean the movie did have a lot of jump scares actually now that i think about it no even the jump scares weren't that weren't that scary honestly i would say that like all the horror movies that i've watched the ones that were shooted in the 80s were like the most scary for me since back then they didn't have cgi like nowadays in horror movies you can just look at a monster and you could just be like bro that bro that's cgi bro like i think all of us know that you could literally be like that man like seriously like it's it's not even a challenge anymore like what are the people in horror movies even doing these days man
It's like, come on now, Slender Man. He has been he has been pretty awesome myth for a while now. Okay, guys, you guys better check him out. Now, all this stuff. Um, do you know that Ouija movie? Now I haven't watched it. I watched the trailer, and it looked pretty. It looked pretty CGI, man. Not gonna lie, but it also looked pretty scary. I mean, the main reason. The main reason I'm saying that 1980s movies are better is because horror movies are supposed to scare you, man. It's supposed to be called scary, but these days you can just watch a horror movie and you just be like, bruh, that is, that is CGI, like, there's, there's nothing to be afraid of. Like, 1980s, they just, they just, like, they didn't need CGI, man. They could... They could pull off horror movie in no time, like seriously. Now, have you guys watched Paranormal Activity? Yeah, Blocks Mortal, uh, my friend, my dude, check out his channel. He forced me to watch this movie, okay? I, I didn't like it. Now, this movie, it, it wasn't that scary. It was just disturbing to me, to me especially. Now, um, disturbing saying like... I felt I felt weird when I watched this movie like I felt I felt super weird like I just felt like dude bruh when I watched this movie because like first of all the entire movie looks like it was from like a CCTV footage like actual mansion CCTV footage which made it even creepier second of all I don't even I don't even know man I don't even know I, I, I don't even apparently these the the thing the thing that happened in the story happened legit like it was a real life story and third of all I don't even know if the CCTV footage is real or not like if it was real if it was the real CCTV footage from real life and they used that to make the movie that is just insane I just watched I just watched real life real life ghosts paranormal activity right there man like wow now, Insidious. Um, also, Blocks Model is the one who forced me to watch more of these movies. Most of these movies, okay, man. Like this dude. This dude is like, like he has so much horror movies. Like, like, bruh. Now, Insidious. Insidious. I haven't watched the entire series. Apparently, there's like four movies or something. But Insidious Chapter Three. I would say it's the only Insidious movie I have watched. And it would be the creepiest for me. You know why? Because it, it, it takes place before the like the Insidious movies happen. And because like it's just insanely creepy. The ghost is a dude. Okay, we only see him as a shadow. And he's always just smiling and waving at the main character. Like, bruh. Like, bruh. Like, dude. Like, what the... Like, what is even going on, man? Like, like it's just, like, it's just, it's just, it's scary. I mean, each Insidious movie ends on a happy note, but I, I, I don't, I don't, I, I hated the scary parts. I mean, I know even that is, like, a CGI kind of movie, but, yeah, I would say that's the only CGI movie I actually like. So, Annabelle, this movie has been the queen, the queen of horror for a very long time. And also, yes, Vlox Model made me watch this as well. Congrats, bro. So, anyways, um, yeah, this 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 movie, it's 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 creepy. Okay, it's creepy. There are over a lot of jump scares. The story is just insanely spiritual and like, like it's kind of like a ceremony. Like like, it's like a ritual kind of movie. And I don't have blocks, so I'm a void. So yeah, it was just it was just creepy. I mean, I know that Animal Creation Animal comes home dropped in theaters, but like, dude, this movie, the first movie, I would say, I haven't watched the other two movies. I just watched the trailer, but from the but the first movie, I would say it it was just it was just insanely creepy, man. Like the amount of creepiness this movie has, it's just it's just insane. Like, dude, dude, what what why what is it's, it's it's just insane, man. I mean, the the Annabelle doll itself is creepy, and the fact that it's a real story, there's a real spirit in America, 
actually England, I believe, but the fact that it is a real story makes it even creepier. Like, dude, it's, it's, it's a real story. What? Like, what? Man, the fact that it is a real story makes me feel weird. Like, people can go and visit the Annabelle doll in museums. And I don't know how I feel about that, man. I don't... I don't understand how I... I don't know. I... I ah, like, how do I feel about that? I feel very weird when I think about Annabelle as a real story and real freaked out, so yeah. Now, I know there's a lot more horror movies, but at this moment, that's literally the only thing I can remember. Oh, yeah, Final Destination. I know that that's technically not a horror movie. It's kind of like a thriller, but... Oh, boy, is it scary, man. Like, oh, boy. Like, jeez, man. Like, 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 the amount of deaths that happened in Final Destination. I mean, I watched the third movie. Um, I watched the third movie, uh, and the second movie, and the first movie. Yeah, those three. Yeah, I watched them, and it was, it was, it was sad. Only one can win. Oh god, and I'm gonna die now. So anyways, yeah, those were like, a bit like, a, you know, some horror stuff that you guys could watch. I know this video wasn't exactly scary, even though I wanted it to be. But, um, anyways, uh, s s like, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys liked this video. So anyways, see you guys in my next video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on notification bell so you never miss a video. Happy Halloween and peace out.